welcome to our lesson on congruence. So congruence is another word for identical, and two shapes are identical or congruent when they share the same size and have the same angles. So here we have six shapes. Four of them are congruent, two of them are not. Do you want to take a few moments by pausing the video and have a look at which four shapes you think are congruent? Okay, so these four shapes are congruent because even though they are different rotations or reflections of each other, they are the same size and they all have the same angles. This shape is similar with the other four because it has the same angles but a different size. And this shape is the same size but has different angles. So it is neither congruent nor similar to the other five. In mathematics, there are four ways of proving whether two shapes are congruent. We're going to look at them in this lesson. So the four conditions for congruence with triangles are side, side and side, which means the two shapes have the three equal sides, even though it's a different rotation or reflection. Another condition is you've got an angle between two sides. So you side, angle, side, same here. The third condition is angle, side, angle, where you have a side between two known angles. And the final condition is right angle, hypotenuse, side. So this works with Pythagoras' theorem. So you've got the hypotenuse is equal on both plus another side is equal on both, and it's a right angle. This works because Pythagoras' theorem tells you that this side would be equal on both as well. So we're going to explain when this purple pair of triangles are congruent. You can see we have three sides that are equal, a six centimeters on both, a 4.1 centimeter on both, and a 6.4 centimeter on both. So the proof is side, side, and side. We can look at a different pair of triangles. So in this pair of triangles, you've got the two sides and an angle, two sides, five and three, and an angle. So this proof is going to be side, angle, side. You could also say, because of Pythagoras' theorem, that the hypotenuse would be the same on both because the two shorter sides are the same. So you could also prove right angle hypotenuse side. We'll try one more. So here you've got an angle between two equal lengths of 4 and 5.4, 4 and 5.4. So again, the proof here is side, angle, side, which proves these two triangles are congruent. We'll try one more question, which is slightly more complicated. In the diagram, lines AB and DE are parallel. And AB, which is this side, is equal to DE, which is this side. So the two parallel sides are parallel and they are equal. Prove that triangles ABC and DEC are congruent. You will need to know the angle properties of parallel lines to complete this proof. But do you want to try it by pausing the video? And you can resume the video when you're ready. So the best thing to do in this question is to draw out the two separate triangles. And we are told that AB is equal and parallel to DE. So we can just simply write AB is equal to DE and that is given in the question. So now we have these two sides. We now need to consider the angle properties in parallel lines where the angle BAC, so this angle here, is equal to CED, this angle here, because they are alternate. So BAC is equal to C E D because alternate angles in parallel lines are equal. 
Similarly, we can use the same angle property with ABC, which is this angle here, and CDE, because again, they are alternate, so they will also be equal. So now I've stated three reasons. I have now demonstrated that angle side angle proves congruency. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.